Welcome back to the second clip of our crash course on medieval sword fighting taught weekly by Chris Blakey at the Eurasian Community House. Yeah, we all want to get to the good stuff, the sword fighting, but before that, Chris is going to teach me some basic moves of sparring without my sword. After a brief warm up, we are ready to kick ass. Quick footwork drills, remembering the basic footwork pattern at Crisade Forward Estrada, stepping strong off the line, you take us coming in here, Paso a la Traversa. Three passing steps off on the tangent, on the traversing line. So by just moving the front foot to the right, the outside, it moves our body just off the line. But enough that we can come in around their guard and hit them. So that's called Acros Hade Forward Estrada. From there, three passing steps, keeping the weight low. You just push your hips forward and let your feet carry. So basically what's happening down the bottom has nothing to do with what's going on up here. Right. We can be doing all sorts of things with the sword and it's independent of what our legs are doing. Okay. We, must want to, we must try to be as balanced as possible at all times. Okay. okay, so that's why we practice footwork a lot. This is good stability. It's very good stability, yeah. Okay, the basic master of abrasade. Chris is going to walk up and grab me. So I abrasade forward to stride of the other direction and open him up. This movement now has opened up his shoulder. Okay, so from there, he's gone from being in a completely advantageous position to being in a terrible position. He's grabbed me here, I go, oops, oh no, open him up, come up under the elbow, and just walk away with his arm. Time to have a go at it. We're going to do the unarmed flow drill. It's just, it's not a fight. It is a couple of basic techniques that teach us how to control the other person. As he goes through, I go, oh, that's nice and easy. And I take him over because he's given me his elbow. Okay. Now from here, he bends his knees and doesn't bend his back, pops his knee in underneath. Oh, I've lost the position, so I'm going to take him the way he wants to go. That way. He sees my elbow, he turns me over. Okay. I come underneath him, up, he takes me back. That way, I see the elbow, I take him over. Okay, up underneath, let's flow it, flow it, flow it, that's it. Okay, this is just a technique for you to learn timing and distance. And then it was my turn. Okay. Okay, chin. You can go faster that way than he can go backwards. Oh, I see. Okay. And you very, very soon overwhelm him. Okay. I've stepped to take you. If you want to move forward, his foot is in the wrong place. I'm not going to be able to talk anymore, but it's okay. okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> At any stage, your head is open to yeah. it because your arms are tied up here. Yeah. So I have to... Have no balance. There's yeah, you have no balance. Problem. So that's part of the art is ignoring what's not dangerous, no matter how threatening it seems to be. Get through, grab your own arm. And here's Michelle kicking my butt. And she sees your elbow and she takes it down. Oh, and then, okay, there you go. And then now you just break my arm, right? Thank you. In the next clip, we move to the good stuff. The sword fighting. And more of me getting embarrassed. 